Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to cover a cool plugin that just came out basically a few days ago from Tone Boosters, toneboosters.com. Uh, they make some great plugins. I have their whole suite. You can actually buy their whole suite for like 109 euros, which is, I think it's like $135, whatever it is. Not that expensive. And they have some pretty cool plugins, so you might want to check that out. But today we're going to talk about their Ferox version 3 plugin, which is a new, um, completely re rewritten version of their Ferox plugin, which basically is a tape simulator plugin uh, to give you that analog tape warmth and punch. It's pretty cool. They did a nice job on it. Uh, let me just bring it up here. There it is. You can see it's got your VU meters and... Um, uh, you can actually do a little bit of feed, tape delay and feedback. You can add you can add saturation um, uh, f of whatever effects you're you're using for this plugin. It does have a compression and a release knob. Has a low and high pass uh, capability. Output gain saturation. Um, the HYST is basically combining what's currently happening with. The signal that happened before so uh, i guess it's you can really think of that as uh, as like a delay if you will so that actually adds to the tape simulation and then you've got um you could do a mono or stereo and then you've got um high sample and a low high over sample and a low over sample capability pretty simple they do come with some standard uh, presets which you might want to try out um, the one i like is warm saturation and i'll show you it in a second they also have another plugin called Real Bus, and there are some differences between the Ferox and the Real Bus, Real, Real Bus plugin. Real Bus app allows you to do multiple tape recorders, different models of tape recorders. This is really this this one that we're talking about today. The Ferox is really more simple. Uh, it's a simple tape saturation, so it doesn't get into the emulation of specific tape manufacturers if you will so in real bus you can do tape hiss which you can't do with this one if you so if you want that tape hiss you can't do that so there's there's some there are some differences between the two this ferox comes with their track essentials bundle which basically i'll show you what that is here um yeah if you go to the website you can take a look at all this stuff so basically you've got the ferox you've got their echo chorus and phaser module, time machine, which is a delay, an EQ, multiband EQ, a deesser, gate, reverb. Actually, the reverb is pretty good, and a compressor. And you get all this stuff for I think it's like thirty six dollars US. It's twenty four ninety five euros, so it's pretty good value when you think about it. Uh, so you might want to check out Tone Boosters. But anyway, so let's let's get back to what we're talking about today, which is the Ferox. And I want to go through some samples here. I'm going to play it with it on and with it off so you could hear it. So let's let's first listen to a section without this plugin. Okay, so let me turn it on here. I'm going to A-B it for you, okay? So we'll start with it off, and I'll A-B it for you. That should be enough to give you an idea. 
I can certainly hear it. Basically, kind of glues all the parts together. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, but it certainly, it certainly adds a warmth to it and a and a brightness really at like the same time. Hard to describe. Oh, there's L2. Sorry about that. Let's take a look at what we can do here. So I'm going to loop this little part here where it's kind of quiet, so you can you're, you'll hear how it affects the bass here. hear the buzz the buzz come out in the bass when you when you turn this thing on so i'm going to mess with this drive here and the compression let me, let me start with the compression so you can see how it um it adds to that You can really dial in as much of of this effect that you want on your on your mix. I like to put it on my stereo bus here, uh, so that it affects the whole, everything uh, and gives it that um, that warm punchiness. And I'm actually doing it after the L2. Um, I guess you could do it before, but I prefer to do it after L2. Um, when you first set up this warm saturation preset, it's like 80% compression. I've actually not, I knocked that down to like between 30 and 40. It's just too much compression at 80%. Um, but let's try to play with some of these filters so you can, or these uh, switches here so you can hear the difference. That's that's the plug. You know, let's let's take a look at the high and low pass. have the filter switch on if you're going to use the high pass and low pass pretty cool feature so that's pretty much it so again you're you're basically getting this as part of a uh, a bundle here of uh basically eight different modules for like 35 bucks i mean that's that's pretty good deal so i would check them out i'm pretty much using this on everything that any type of mix where i want to have more warmth I use this in compare in in concert with um, uh, the Britson plugin, which I just did a video on uh, the other day. So 
Uh, but this is certainly a um, pretty cool plug-in to check out. So, again, it's the Tone Boosters Ferox version 3. Check it out. Go to ToneBoosters.com. I hope this was helpful, and we'll be back next week with another edition of Plug-In of the Week. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.